Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, June 18th, 2019. And I'm just going to recap real quick and explain to you what's going to happen with today's video. Um, so I got pretty much everything called. I got the tomato plants. Let me get over here without tripping. Got the tomato plants. Where are you? There you are. Trimmed up. This one I tied back onto the fence because it's starting to lean this way and I want it to go back that way. So I trimmed them all the way up. I missed one. Trimmed them all the way up so that they uh, grow up taller versus bushing out. Getting rid of as many suckers as I... Well, not all of them. You know, I did what I did. Same, oh, shadow. Did what I did. Same thing here. And over there. So, that gives them an opportunity to grow up taller, forcing the energy up the plant. It's marigolds looking beautiful. So, um, yeah, did that. And the beast. The beast got a major haircut, y'all. Looking pretty. Looking good. So not only will trimming all the lower leaves and stuff um, keep the plant healthier because it's not going to get water onto the leaves itself. It's also opening up so that the pollinators can get into the flowers and pollinate. So I took a bunch out of here in order to <clears throat> get all the leaves that, or the, yeah, leaves that were crossing and um, blocking. You couldn't even tell, or I couldn't tell when I first walked up on it, how many flowers were in here. So did that. Cut back the mustard greens. Now I did not. I did not. Uh, cut everything off of here because I don't know if I can get this but you see that since these guys this mustard green has flowered there's bees all over this I'm looking at at least six right now and I can't zoom in to get them all but they weren't happy with me cutting it yesterday um, they started die bombing me I didn't get stung even if I would have, it's not a big deal. I'm not allergic and it probably help me with my condition. But, um, yeah, so I left that. I'm leaving it. I'm letting it go to Bolton Seed so the bees uh, enjoy itself and stay in the garden for a while. So I, th I, th I thought that was a real positive there. So, And then I trim back this little guy over here, our uh, acorn squash. And there are a few um, baby fruits on it starting, but I don't know that they got pollinated. So, like if you see that one right there, I'm not sure that that guy got pollinated. I'll check it later. And then, look at how beautiful this one is. Look at that. I don't know if you can catch all that. That's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then I took the, the small fruit off of this one. And what we heard, and it's an experiment this year because we never did this in Denver, but um, when you have a couple of small fruits on it and it's the first set or so of small fruits pluck them take them off and it will booster it out to produce more which in my opinion is true because that guy was not there yesterday so that's pretty cool yeah so onions doing good I decided to drop yellow from his name because 
Onion just sounds right. Oh, there's my other glove. I've been looking for that. Hmm. Gotta make sure there's not a spider in it. And then uh, the pumpkin's doing really well as well. Really well as well. It's doing good. Lemon tree is trying to stand up on its own. It was doing really good. It is doing really good. Um, I haven't tested this yet to see if it's held. I need to take the clamps off of it today and see what's up with that. And this guy. Yeah, he's pretty. She's pretty. Whichever. But I'm, uh, helping it work out. And see, it's already holding on. Right there. But I'm helping it work out that I want it to trellis up. So as it grows, I just come over and give it a little bit of a push to grab hold. So, and it's doing it. It's looking good. And Sammy hasn't touched that leaf out there yet, so. Fingers crossed. Yeah. So. And there are cats that have been hanging out in Georgia's yard. And these two are just going nuts about it, man. Uh, so, um, I did not call the Karabi. I should have. So I'm just trying to get them to bounce back from whatever was attacking them. So, in April and I have an ongoing joke. Every time I say in a video, I need to do that, and then I don't, it's like, or not. Or not. Or not. I have so many things I need to get finished. Yeah, see something's out here tromping around in the garden. Look at all that. They're digging and everything. Did they take my horseradish root? Oh, man. That's gonna suck. Alright, what could have possibly gotten into the garden and dug up my horseradish root? Oh, <laughs> oh man. Good lord, y'all. Uh, uh, uh. uh, okay, um... Smaller tomato plants that came out later are doing really well. So is the okra. The potatoes are doing okay. There are some leaves that are starting to die back. I'm just watching it to see if I can figure out why. Are they getting close to harvest or what? Lettuces are jumping up. Um, Celeste is doing good. She's just chilling. And Bionic Woman. Yeah, April told me I should uh, see what happens if I cow mag her, which I haven't done. So I might do that just to see what happens. And then the cantaloupes. They're looking pretty good too. So. Alright, so what's going to happen with today's video? Yesterday. Um. I know that the videos were long. I'm not gonna apologize. I enjoyed myself listening to music, playing music for the garden and all the plants. Cooper, dude, you're in a timeout. You're not getting it back. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm sure they did too. So, after all of that, I came out here and replanted um, some of the plants that needed to be upgraded into larger containers from the germination room and I um, started some more seedlings only a few yesterday I'm gonna get more done today I still got more uh, more more to do but 
All of this is um, the cups in the dirt. What are you doing? The cups in the dirt that uh, the seeds the seeds just didn't germinate in. So just to see what's going to happen, I'm going to take it over there by the, by the twig pile that still exists and just put it in the ground and then we're gonna pull back some of the compost to fill in that area um, for the Malabar spinach so today um, this video will be attached to the seedling um, and transplanting videos from yesterday so I got stuff I need to get done in the house and I am just prioritizing. I got to get stuff going in different aspects, but I need to get that done. So let me show you what I ended up doing last night with the apricots real quick. Hang on. So I'm dehydrating apricots. Yes, it's still going. I thought I'd be smart and put it on uh, convection last night and I don't think it worked very well so switched it over to conventional this morning and the last part is shrub oh you can hardly see that huh hang on shrub thank you to Stacy from off grid with Doug and Stacy for teaching me how to do all the fermenting and I can't open it with one hand I have to air I have to give it a burp but yeah I've learned so much from her and him their channel is awesome so the only other thing to show you is What's going on in the germination room? <clears throat> so the mangoes are still doing really well. I flipped these two around so that the papayas will get more sun and heat. Look at that. I haven't brought you guys back here in two days. And we went from one to... I can't even count them all. Is that eight? No, more than eight. Anyways, yeah, those are papayas. Papaya trees. And we've got our eggplants coming up. Tomatoes are still coming up. And we still have the kale and spinach coming up. So a couple of the gourds down here have come up as well. But we don't have anything yet as far as the Malabar. So, nothing there, there, there. So, yeah, that is what it is. And then, uh, still nothing on the pinion nuts and nothing on the pawpaws. But like I said previously, those take longer to germinate. So, alright y'all. I hope you have a blessed day. Until next time. Take care and be safe wherever you are in the world, and much love.
Thank you.